AKA Patters, are you excited for the Blue Beetle? No one is. Time to talk about it. AKA Patters, welcome back to another amazing video. Peter A. DeLuca here, AKA Pad69. Say it with me. Known through Philadelphia, PA, Europe, and the multiverse as the eclectic one. P okay, let, can we just get right into it? But, but before we do, subscribe, support, leave a comment. It's free. It's free, and you're helping me out. Just leave a comment. Just say, you can just say comment, or you can just say, Pete, you're awesome. I love you. Blue Beetle, never cool. Historically, never cool. A character wedged down comic book fans throats never ever cool and i say wedge because the original blue beetle got shot in the head and then during infinity crisis we get the introduction of an alien thing falling from the sky we're, we, we will review that issue soon but the blue beetle as a baseline never cool blue beetle even when we talk about smallville we talk about those 10 seasons of smallville no one ever references Blue Beetle. No one says that was a great episode. That was a great moment. That was a great thing. I was so happy when he went live. I mean, it just seems like when it comes to Smallville live action, people are more interested in Green Arrow and Doomsday. They were constantly being reminded that Doomsday was in Smallville for a reason. Because it wasn't Doomsday's popular. Doomsday's cool. Blue Beetle... None of it never was. Even we go back, we go back, Christ, Crisis of Infinity Arts, we go back to that Blue Beetle, that issue one, I believe that series ran about two years. Blue Beetle never even had a sustained comic book run for a reason. And the character, I mean, even with this new trailer, this new trailer, we get to see that Blue Beetle's just going to fight other versions of himself. I get it, you know, it's, uh, that's something to do with storytelling because, uh, you know, we explain the powers and abilities of the hero and not to waste any more time, uh, we echo that to the villains. This is very common in episode one or, or number one uh, origin movie type introductions of characters where we echo the powers of the, uh, of the hero into the villain and then within the final conflict, we weaken the hero to the point where now we're worried and we're heightened because we understand the threat because, you know, again, the power sets are established. People, this second trailer for Blue Beetle, uh, it's, it's madness. I don't, <laughs> anyone acting like that, they're excited for Blue Beetle has lost their mind. Anyone that thinks that Blue Beetle, uh, yeah, I guess he's in, he's announced for Superman Legacy. Nobody wants to see more Blue Beetle after this movie. Uh, I, it's it's beyond me why they just don't dump it on Max and move forward. Dump Aquaman, the Lost Empire, the Found Kingdom, the Stolen Kingdom, whatever subtitle that movie has. Dump that on Max and just. Get because now people are confused. Warner Brothers and James Gunn, you know, James Gunn is subject to this. Okay, here before we go, major criticism to now the confusion of Blue Beetle and Aquaman. Okay, here's oh, it, it oh, just gets me going. Okay, they allowed all of these news sources, and you know, they're shill news sources. Uh, this is far established. Okay. This is how they all repeat the same things when they watch the same movies and all everything that we heard about the Flash turned out to be wrong. Flash really was like horrible. But AKA Patters, they've already announced the end of the Schneiderverse with the Flash or with Flashpoint. That movie really should have been called Flashpoint, by the way. But yeah, it's over and now we get what, like episode one now? I mean, go through the headline. Headlines: Episode one, Blue Beetle. Episode two, Aquaman, and then, then Superman Legacy. People, we're not having Blue Beetle as an introduction to a major superhero universe. 
we're not. It makes no freaking sense. Superman should be. <laughs> it's insane. Superman uh, it has to be episode one. And now you, you kind of envision, envision it. You see, the only cameo people ever cared about when it came to any... I mean, originally, uh, Schneiderverse, people wanted the Ben Affleck Batman, but that's Batman. And then it was Henry Cavill in Black Adam for a very clear, traceable reason. But what are they going to do to hype you up for Blue Beetle? You know they're going to have to drop something in the end credits or some cameo somewhere. Uh, Aquaman just seems nothing but desperate for that too. Uh, how do you keep the Aquaman guy and you, and, and you, you, you don't have Gail Gadot as one of People, it, it's confusing. I don't think anybody's jazzed up for it. Blue Beetle is just lame. The comic books never sold. The animated appearances are lackluster. What we already seen of Blue Beetle in live action doesn't inspire. The character just needs to go. He's a background at best. He's not a forefront dude. Never really was. But that's always been a DC problem. It really has. Rock and roll kids, I love you. Subscribe, support, leave a comment and flex.